arachnophobia, or the fear of spiders, according to clevelandclinic.org, affects around 3 to 15% of the population. Seeing, thinking, or even hearing about spiders can cause symptoms including sweating, shaking, and tightness in your chest. Some of us are scared of spiders, and that's gonna be a huge problem. <laughs> I don't like her butt wispies. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. If we're gonna help people overcome their fears and learn more about these amazing creatures, we're gonna need to overcome our own. To do this, a tarantula expert will be bringing us our new tarantula and educating us on how we can be less afraid of these beautiful animals. This is gonna be really challenging. My name is Richard, most well known for my YouTube channel. I make videos about tarantulas and sometimes some snakes or geckos, but mainly I focus on arachnids, specifically spiders. Richard is the man when it comes to educating people all about tarantulas. So we'll link his channel in the description so you can check it out for yourself. If you came from Richard's channel, then you already know that. Thanks for being here. Consider subscribing, we're glad to have you. I'm really excited to be here today because I really wanna come up and see this facility, but more importantly, I wanted to bring Reach Out Reptiles their first tarantula. But before we take a look at the tarantula, we had to give Richard the tour of our new snake breeding facility. We have so many crazy advances coming. I can't wait to show you guys. Also, Richard brought all this crazy gear because he's filming a documentary. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I was really jealous of the cameras he had. But back to the spider. We could not wait to see the tarantula. But before we did that, Kira, Garrett's oldest daughter, wrote a whole list of questions for Richard. There's something about an 11 year old's perspective that's just kind of magical. Dear spider guy, my brother let our wolf spider out. I was very unhappy about that. The other one was an American house spider named Bubbles who I just released. She was pregnant and I felt not ready for the babies. Should I have kept Bubbles? I would have let it go. Babies are tough to take care of. Especially when they're that small. Any ventilation hole they could get out of and then they get cannibalistic. They're gonna start eating each other. Maybe it'd be better for nature to just let them go. Are purchased spiders better than wild? Definitely. I think she heard that black widows are declining in population. She's like, I'm gonna breed those. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> she really likes black widows though. Uh, what wild food is good for all spiders and is it common? Crickets. You gotta be careful using those because you know the cricket could be covered in poison that it will end up killing your spider. People use so many pesticides these days. Uh, what do wolf spiders eat? Crickets, beetles, other spiders, pretty much any invertebrate that's the same size or smaller than them. Is the Audubon Society's Field Guide to North American Insects and Spiders a good reference? I couldn't find several types of my spiders in there. I have that one. I also, there's, I got it off Amazon. It's just called Spiders of North America. It's got a lot of them in there. But the problem is there's hundreds of thousands of species of spiders. Impossible for any book to have all of them. And she says at the end, I love spiders. Should I keep going or should I wait until I'm older? P.S. I really admire your work. I say keep going. <laughs> it was finally time to take a look at the tarantula. This thing is really beautiful. It does not look like your average blonde. Not your average That's blonde. Hard. It's not just yeah. green eyed house snakes, it's now the blonde tarantula. <laughs> why can't you have green eyes like that? Oh, are you joking me? <laughs> Actually, why can't you have blonde hair like tarantulas? <laughs> Hallie, what do you think? She's cute. I, I hear they can hurt. Not these not, ones. Oh, those don't bad. have venom? So it's not a scale of one to ten. Not bad. <laughs> it's some, a car crash, you know? It wasn't bad. <laughs> they basically all have some level of venom. I don't even know if they give you venom when they bite they these can. guys. It's not gonna hurt, but that's why I brought you this one is because it's the most docile species. Like, I don't know anyone that's ever been bit by one that wasn't trying to get bit. And they get like She's gonna get almost twice, twice that, that size. size, yeah. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous before I held the tarantula, but what happened next was even more surprising. I'm gonna hold a tarantula for the very first time. I'm not afraid of spiders. All right. But I wouldn't say I love them. I don't hate them. What do you think? But I don't love them. You look uh, very loose and relaxed there, young sir. So relaxed, man. Just when I thought things couldn't get more interesting, she pooped on me. I got pooped no. on my tarantula. Let's go. Is it white? Yeah. Yeah, you got pooped on. Gosh. That means she likes you. She has marked you as her territory. I've never wanted anything more in life. You never really think about bugs pooping, so when you're holding a gigantic spider for the first time and then it poops on you, it's a little bit mind blowing. One of the ways to help people get over their fear is to actually have one in person, live with it, see it, feed it, take care of it, realize that they're not scary at all, and fall in love with it. I definitely think getting pooped on counts as in-person interaction. That's about as in-person as it gets. Look at it. Congratulations. I'm never washing this. You've been pooped on. <laughs> this is the moment that won me over for this tarantula, and I think 
I am at least started down the path of being a little bit less freaked out by these things. And that's really ultimately why we're doing this in the first place. I I'm gonna let Richard explain a little more. I think that even though our hobbies are, you know, kind of separate, both flourish a lot better if we were kind of working together and collaborating with each other, doing our best to teach the public in general about these exotic animals. Without spiders, harmful insects would literally take over the world, so it's kind of a big deal that we educate people. Problem is, Rob, our professional snake breeder, is terrified of spiders. But how can we teach people not to be afraid of these amazing animals if one of the most important members of our team is still afraid of them? This is a huge problem. But then we got Rob to reluctantly agree holding the tarantula and facing his fears. <laughs> Did you see that? He does not like spiders. No, I do not. You gonna be okay? <laughs> I'm gonna need some support. I got you. <laughs> oh man, like I can already feel my face getting red. Oh man, this, I don't know about that. I, just, I think we should All stop. Right. No. <laughs> so the, the truth of the thing is, this is like the most chill species of spider in the world. I'm about to cry. I have made certain decisions throughout my life that has brought me here. <laughs> I'm starting to question whether I should be allowed to make decisions. <laughs> is it getting close to my belly? They don't have any She trusts me. Belly. I don't trust her. I have not seen you do this since you were trying to impress Brian Barczyk. Do you remember that? I'm not trying to impress anybody. So of course, as we all know, they are wonderful pest control. Without spiders or any arachnids, we would be overrun by flies and things that we don't want. I don't like flies either. Well. I'm not holding a fly. Oh, yeah, I'm all in. I don't like her butt wispies. <laughs> uh, She's not on you anymore. What's it like to hold a tarantula? It doesn't feel like anything. It had some sort of like hookiness. But what freaks me out is the butt wispies. Those the two things. things right here? Yeah, don't touch them. Those are her spinnerets. Hadley, what do the spinnerets do? Well, what, is, what does it sound like? It spins. Spins what? Webs <laughs> of lies. Hold it up and smile. Like Get a thumbnail. I, 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 I almost said I like her, but I don't know. That's a big step. Dude. We're not taking big steps right now. We're just taking little ones. All right, you want to give her back to Hadley um, before anything happens? Yeah. I, it wasn't as bad. No, it was bad. We can revisit this when she gets much larger. Um, what? Wow, guys, I think Rob did a really good job holding that tarantula up. We decided to put her back in her enclosure so she can get settled out and start making herself at home. We ended up naming her Kiwi, so if you want to keep up with Kiwi and the rest of the gang here at Wild World TV, make sure to subscribe and watch this next video.